If an unpressurized aircraft is operated above 12,500 feet MSL, but not more than 14,000 feet MSL for a period of two hours and 20 minutes, how long during that time is the minimum flight crew required to use supplemental oxygen? We could just go look at the regs, but instead, let's use pictures and video to make this easier. Here's our climbing airplane. Here's our altimeter. The use of supplemental oxygen is not required as the aircraft is currently climbing through 12,400 feet. Once the aircraft exceeds 12,500 feet MSL, the minimum required flight crew is required to wear supplemental oxygen up to 14,000 feet for any length of time greater than 30 minutes. The next requirement pertains to the crew as the aircraft continues climbing and exceeds 14,000 feet. And once that altitude of 14,000 feet is exceeded, the required minimum flight crew must use supplemental oxygen the entire time. The third requirement is when the aircraft operates at an altitude higher than 15,000 feet. At this point, passengers must be supplied with oxygen. That means if the passenger has a mask but doesn't want to wear it, they can sit there quietly until they pass out and turn blue in the face. Here are the possible answers. The aircraft will be operating in the first range we looked at for 2 hours and 20 minutes. Above 12,500 to 14,000 feet, the crew must use oxygen after 30 minutes. That would make the answer B 1 hour and 50 minutes. The regulations are mandatory, but supplemental oxygen may be needed at much lower altitudes to prevent the effects of hypoxia. One of which can be seen on the screen is tunnel vision, another is loss of color vision but the symptoms and effects can vary from person to person. To learn more about and to experience hypoxia and how it affects you, the Federal Aviation Administration's Civil Aerospace Medical Institute in Oklahoma City operates a high altitude chamber. I've personally experienced the effects of hypoxia in an altitude chamber, and it is recommended to any pilot who has the opportunity to attend a training program like the one offered by the FAA. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to click the like and subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when the next video is uploaded.